I'm here to see Mr. Pecorino. Well, I didn't think you were here to sell me insurance. So, you here to work for him, shoot him, or arrest him? Or maybe all three? It's okay, Mrs. P. I'll deal with this. Yeah, I'm in a life-threatening situation, and I'm having a conversation here. He could have killed me. You're useless. Organized crime, my ass. With guys like you, no wonder this organization is doing so wonderfully. <laughs> you, Nick? Come on. Peg. What? Someone for you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Were you followed? I don't think so. Oh. I mean, who knows? Exactly. I mean, we can pretty much guarantee you were followed. The question is, did you know about it? And right now, I don't know the answer to that question. But to be honest, I don't really care neither. I know enough about you, your cousin, your friends. I know a lot of people around you end up in jail. Some maybe. But that's the same all over town. This is a dying game. I don't understand. <clears throat> I mean, I'm gonna ask I you don't to deal understand. with problem, And you're gonna deal with it. Or you're not gonna deal with it, and you're gonna be a problem that somebody else has to deal with. But me? Sounds about right. I ain't doing nothing. Yes, <laughs> okay. So what's the problem? We'll get to that. Anthony! Yo! Did Phil call? Not yet, boss. Ray called. <sighs> of course he did. I wonder, is it better to have a talented snake or a historical lion who's gonna be cut down in his prime? I don't know. What do you think? I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you do. But I ain't gonna push. Anthony, get in here. Boss, where's Big Pete and Marco? On their way. <sighs> Listen to me. Here's what the plan is. Me and two of my guys are gonna meet with a couple of boys from the Pavano family. I need these guys if we're ever gonna be taken serious. You know, Get on the commission. Mm. But the thing is, these guys ain't, shall we say, shown us the appropriate respect in the past. I want you to run security. Keep an eye on things, because they won't be looking out for you. Ah, here they are. It's either them or the cops. It's them. They're outside. Looks like Ray's here, too. I know it's them. God, give me strength. I'll be out in a minute. Look after Ray till I get back. Hey, Tone. Hey, Ray. I need to speak with hey, Pegorino. What, what are you doing? He's, he's busy. Hey, Nico. Huh. Oh, boss. Salve. Get up. I'm sorry, <laughs> boss. This guy's everywhere, like a freaking cockroach or something, huh? In a good way. Ray, you and me is going to talk. The boss has got business. Yeah. Uh, boss, I got you this because I care. You boys have fun. <laughs> I got you this because I care. Get in Pegorino's car. Okay. Jimmy's on his way. Nico, right? Skipper said you'd be driving. Sit down's over at the old refinery in the after industrial park. Alright. What are you waiting for? Hit it! Let's go! Drive to the old refinery. I love the house, by the way. You love the driveway. Now? Nice. You best hope you made a good first impression on Nico, boys. He's gonna be the one looking out for you during this meet. Well, been? he's being paid to look out for me, so saving you guys' asses will be overtime. <laughs> That's just if the shit goes down, right, boss? The Pavanos wouldn't fuck with you. Wake up, you fucking mook. Everybody's trying to fuck everybody. We're just hoping they got the manners to smile to our faces before they do it. You giving them a nice little offering, though, Skip. They ain't gonna turn up their nose at that. God, give me strength. It's like I'm dealing with children here. No wonder I ain't on a commission when my muscle is this stupid. If the Pavanos is a Liberty City family, what are they doing coming out to Alderney for this meet? I let them operate out here from time to time. The man has worked a little shy business on this side of the West River. They also control a few bookies. I don't mind them taking a bite. I don't even make them give me a taste. Hopefully they're gonna respect that when it comes time to ask them for a favor. You can't be too confident if you've got me here. Your insurance. 
I'm the captain of this ship because I look at every possibility. Check to make sure my ass is covered in each situation. I think about what's gonna happen if this guy screws me, if this one turns states, and so on. That's why you're the boss, boss. Shut up! <laughs> Jesus, you're worse than my mother. Anyways, that's why Ray ain't ever gonna uh. make it to the level he wants to reach. He's too busy thinking about himself. Mm. That diamond fuck up his case in point. I'm like a fucking chess player. You're covering me for six moves ahead when me and the Pavanos is just putting our first pawns out there on a checkerboard. Ah, I like what you did there, Skip. Real clever. Can you do me a favor? Can you just shoot yourself to save me the trouble of doing it? Can you, Marco? <laughs> Jesus! Give him the rifle, Marco! You expect him to start throwing empty cans from up there if this thing kicks off? <laughs> No way, Skip. Here you go. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Nico, go up into that building. There should be a spot where you can see over to me. Don't start shooting unless they attack us. I don't want this stink screwing up for no good reason. I got you. I got you. Go to the vantage point and watch over the meat. Okay. You know, it's starting to feel like mm, deja vu almost, right? Am I right? Just because it feels like we've almost kind of been in this situation before, right? Am I right? You know, and it's just seemingly nine times out of ten, nine and a half times out of ten, always ends the same way. But we'll see. I love it though. It doesn't get old, to be honest. Keep a guard over Pegarino. There are the fellas. There are the guys. Right. Okay, he's showing him the goods. Showing him the goods. He's like, oh yeah. Ooh. Oh my lord, oh my lord, oh my lord. <gasps> Protects Pegorino from the Pavanos. Oh, oh. Oh wow. Oh no. Is there more? Where? Behind the car or no? Oh, there. Rescue Pegorino. Uh-oh. Someone's caught on the door. <laughs> That's so funny. It's so hilarious that it doesn't just happen to Nico, but also everyone else. See that? That's so funny. Aha. Uh -huh. Sorry, darling. Not today. Not today, not tonight. You shall not be shooting me. Okay. Go, Nico, go. He was limping, I'm fairly certain. He's not doing too well. So we've got to hurry. <gasps> oh. You better duck, babe. That's exactly right. What? Something about his knee? Ooh. Okay. Beautiful. I should go in the in the building, right? I should probably get in there. Don't know opening. Yes, there is. Beautiful. And he's right here. Are there more guys? I don't know. Are you okay? The fucking Pavanos! <laughs> if the rest of the commission knew they did this, I'm sure the whole city will be up in arms. The motherfuckers trying to whack me at a sit down! I know. Where's the dignity? Where's the respect? Huh? They're trying to make off with my tribute! Where's the, the grace? Where's the honor? Earth. We're gonna ice those fucks, Nico! 
Get Pegorino's offering back from the Pavanos. Okay. All right, let's get these slime ball bastards. People like that give Italians a bad name. Whatever happened to the honor society and all that shit? Can't say I know. They didn't even send a fucking popo. This is a declaration of war. The Pegorinos and the Pavanos are hitting the mattresses. Oh. You heard it here first. I saw it through the smoke of that line. We're gonna get that gift back and make this crew pay for their disrespect. Come on! Ooh. Okay. I hate driving off-road. It's not fun. Oh! I know. I'm on TV? Who said that? Oh, was that a cop? I hope not. Don't know, don't care. It's irrelevant. How the f... I, I need to get close enough, first of all. Oh my lord. Excuse me? Um, I'm trying to get your offering back. Thank you very much, love. Nursing my fucking wound. All right, all right, all right. Get the offering. Get back in Pegorino's car with the offering. I love that I'm wearing the little backpack now. That's so cute, Nico. <laughs> Nico there with a backpack. Go. You're a good earner, Nico. Take me back to my place. What can I say? Take Pegorino back to his place. All right, let's go. I can't believe that Pavanos would treat me like this. The Pegorino name should mean something to them. It means something in Alden, eh? Even if it don't, an Algonquin. They better not think of crossing that West River and not looking over their shoulders. Too bad about Marco and Pete. Marco and Pete? Oh, yeah. Those guys didn't make it, did they? <laughs> well, too fucking bad. They knew what they were signed on for. Weren't complaining on the way out, were they? No, they weren't. Happy to be on board with the skipper. Yeah, well, they seem like good kids. Ah, these kids come and go. It ain't worth paying attention to them until they prove they can survive. I just move on and hire some wannabe wise guys off the street. It's that simple? Ask to me. I only start paying attention to my crew when they start putting me in an awkward position, either because they know too much in my rat or because they got too much power and they're too smart to get themselves clipped. Ray was nothing to me until he started earning big and sticking his nose in places that didn't belong. Rats seem to get everywhere you don't want them to be. The only way you know is by finding their shit all over the place in the morning. Phil's different. He's been my man for a while. Mm. I mean, how much can I do with a guy who ain't a full Italian? He's 90% Irish. It don't do too well for the reputation of us Pegorinos having St. Patrick that high up in our organization. Mm. You see the respect we're getting out on the street? Jesus! So he doesn't trust Ray enough and Phil is perfect but he's just not Italian I don't think even if he found his perfect like right hand man for example Nico I feel like it's still he would still find a reason you know to to get him clipped or to get rid of him. He just seems like one of those guys. But he's hilarious. Regardless. You did good, kid. Kept your head when everyone else was losing theirs. Sometimes literally. We're gonna need your skills again soon. Arrivederci. Ray is calling. So Nicky, you and the peg is getting close, I see. He's got work. He pays. That's about it. Yeah? Remember who made the introduction. Remember who brought you in. Don't you forget about me. If you want to pass something up to me, pay me some tribute. Sorry, Ray. I'm freelance. <laughs> I don't buy into that tribute stuff. Uh -huh. This work has many disadvantages, but uh, hey, at least it's tax-free. Ooh, Ray. Ooh, Ray. Don't start switching up now, love. Wow, talking about tribute. <laughs> You wish. Oh, that's that's a that's a cute thought. Did you really just run me over? 
unbelievable. Okay. So Where can I take you? You can take me back to Jimmy. So we need to go to Beaverhead Avenue. I know a fun way to go. My new favorite person. Um, let's skip it. The fascists won't let me drive there, but I can let you off nearby if that's okay. Okay. All right. All right. This will do. Thank you so much. Um By the way, there's like a guest house and then the main house. I'm assuming it's all sort of one package, right? Like it's a guest house. Like it's not like a neighborly thing because but I don't know. Because it almost seems like it all is like one thing, right? Payback. Hey. One whole uh, estate. But I could be yet? wrong. Feds, I think. They always drive past it this time. Does that worry you? When you marry a dragon, you gotta expect a few knights are gonna turn up to try to <laughs> slay him. Jackasses. All of them. All of you. Nice talking with Whatever. you. Whatever. You have fun. Pick a swell guy to kill. Hopefully someone with a young family who really miss him. What? <laughs> Why don't hey. you go somewhere? Hey. Do something, right? Is Mr. Pegorino around? Oh, uh, uh, sure. I I'll get him. Boss! Anthony, will you shut up? In <laughs> fact, will you fuck off? Go on, get out of here. <laughs> don't come back till you get a brain implant or something. I'm sorry. I I'm s nice to see you, Nico. You too. I got a couple of things I want to talk to you about. First up, can you kill this shithead? Sure. <laughs> Second, come in here. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so, listen, we got a bit of a problem with the Pavanos. Yes, I'm not surprised. That you're meeting with them. Yes. The way they look at us, we're bottom feeders. Always have been. We ain't a real family to them. Just a bunch of Guernsey Goombas. When things are cool, we're getting fucked. Mm. I'm sorry to hear that. Mm. Uh, sure. Listen, some of their boys are in town today. Gonna collect their piece of an old and a bookie ring. Where it is, they're at the diner and actor. Find them and follow them to the meet. You disrupt it, and I'll let you keep the money. But make sure you hit the Pavanos real hard. Gabish? Gabish. Yeah. Gabish. Thank you. We get permission to start up travel. Drive to the diner. Mm. He won't mind if I borrow his car. Oh. Oh, you've been hiding this little treasure from me. Pegorino! I can't. Are you kidding me? Can I not get on her? That's a lie. You're lying to me, game. I can't use the. I mean, it's not like it's gonna. It's not like it's gonna. I'm gonna be able to bounce off anyway. But I just. Oh, I had to come and see because I saw it out of the corner of my eye. Ooh. Uh, oh, let me go for a quick dip. Ooh, this is nice. Ooh. Okay. Let me do a quick loop and then get in the car. <gasps> Ooh, this is cute for little get togethers and whatnot. Little garden area. Ooh, a couple of benches. It's like a whole like park. Like the grass is looking a little dry. Could use some sprinklers on your lawn there. Pegarina, we've got some texts, some messages. Brucey, Nico, give me a call when you ain't killing people or working on your delts or whatever. There be new races going on all over town. Jimmy, you did well last job. Come see me, the boss. <laughs> and here we are, wasting no trouble with that. So now we wait. Good food. Good food and maybe good cigarettes here? I don't know. Probably not. They're probably not selling cigarettes. The <laughs> God, they must be desperate. Right, it's a diner. Let's lose them on the way to the meat. 
What? Are you kidding me? How did they know? <laughs> I feel so offended. Ah, oh, that burnt. Wow. Now I'm mad. I thought I was being so slick. They're in the supercar and everything, by the way. I can't blow them up. I'm just gonna... Oh my god, what happened there? Oh my lord. I love how... Car chasers take me everywhere that I don't normally go. And like, how is this even a route that you can take? That's so creative. Literally just scooping up everybody they can. Wipe them all out. Beautiful. Ah, oh, don't mind if I do. Okay. Can I use a rocket launcher? <laughs> Why not? Save me the travel. Having to individually shoot them. It's really not doing much, to be honest. How is this not doing much at all? That's crazy. Okay. The cops are here. That's fun. That's great. That's terrific. Lose your wanted level. Yeah. But this is my only choice I must run. Au revoir. This lemon. <laughs> okay. I... I mean, shot. How many did I shoot? Like, five rockets? And I swear I must have hit, like, one person. You got got, you got got. Oh god, okay, I'm not going, which way am I going? I should probably go this way, going this way. I feel like literally all I'm doing is looping. Um, uh, if I go down here, I'll go down here, I'll be okay. Ooh, the internet cafe is up here. That reminds me. Can I chill here? No, I'll go around here. Uh, okay, perfect. Oh, guys, look at my car. Look at my car. Are we gonna call him up? Yes, we are. Calling Pegarino. I got that stuff, Jimmy. Well done, my boy. I hope you made him suffer. Good thing I'm not a dowry. Right. <laughs> oh, Nico. Oh, I love that about Nico. I love that. He's such a lone wolf. Okay. So we're at the internet cafe. Let's take a look at our emails. A smoke la 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 latte. No, I'll pass. Thank you, dear. Thank you so much. Check mail. Right. Lottery manager. Lotto winner. I'm the winner of a lottery. Hopefully the big lottery. Hopefully the jackpot. Oh, from Big Dwayne 94 at ifind.info, subject EO. Sup, it's Dwayne, man. Just thought I'd holler at you on this email shit. I don't write too good, but shit, you ain't from here, even so. What does that matter to you? Man, I ain't got too many friends no more. These days is real lonely, like, why don't you and me hang out sometime? 
kick it, you know? That'd be good. Ow, Dwayne, for sure. Sure, Dwayne, that could be good. And love that. We might do that, like, now. Milica Bellic? <laughs> Subject, wedding bells, question mark? My dearest son, I hear Roman is getting married. I am so excited. I also heard you had a nice girl, and you could not seem to commit to her. <laughs> I wish I could make it to the wedding. Have a good time, my son. I'm so proud of you both. Majka. Mother. Okay. Uh, Unity Liberty Paper Company. Or UL paper. Uh, subject, thanks for the help. Nico, it's an old friend of yours. I just want to thank you for your help. My company has been very pleased with your work. Now, try to stay out of trouble. A word to the wise. The people you are consorting with in Alderney are fools. And they are not to be trusted. I know other people who will help you. From United Liberty Paper Co. <laughs> I'll send a positive reply. Will I? No. <laughs> At least the people in Alderney are real. Who the F are you? Where is the person I'm looking for? That's 100% an eco response. Right. Roman, great news. Nico, great news. Mallory agreed to marry me. Oh, that rhymed. I am so happy. I am going to be a family man. I am so excited. We have had our ups and downs, but she's been a good friend. And once I stopped cheating on her and we became exclusive, it's been great. I cannot wait to marry her. One problem. No more threesomes. Okay, see you later, Roman. Fantastic. I... I'm not going to be snarky. Cousin, I am so happy for you. I imagine Brucey will be pissed off missing out on all of those threesomes. <laughs> okay, subject lotto winner. Dear sir slash madam, thank you so much for completing and submitting your verification form. You are big winner lotto, lotto mega time scratch off. We are presently in the process of verifying your claims. Meanwhile, you are to immediately make payment of our processing and transfer fees of 5,625 euros. I, 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 I don't know about that. I feel like there's something fishy going on there. I don't trust it. I don't think I'm going to be sending that money over. One dollar? I forget that you have to pay to use the internet cafe. It wouldn't make much sense if you came and it was just There's free. Jar, There's a tip jar. I'll sh I'll listen. You want Welcome. you want a tip? I'll Don't show you the tip. The UL paper. Bellic, I want to introduce you to John Gravelli, head of the Gambetti family. He needs help. I'm already working for a mafia family. They're scum. The Pegarinos. <laughs> They're not a family. Gravelli is the only man who can get what you need done. He's in Shotla Medical Center. Tell him you were sent by a mutual friend. He's expecting. I. I. Every. I feel like every person I'm meeting is like, oh, they're not real. Um. You know, oh, they actually suck. Oh, they have no idea what they're doing. Oh, they're gonna backstab you. You know. Oh, 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 Taxi! 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 Um... Where to? Where to? That's a really good question. Oh! Is that it for Pegorino right now? Is that it for Jimmy? That's it for Jimmy. We could go see Phil. Ooh. Ooh, Gambetti, right, and then there's Francis, and Bernie, Bernie, oh, okay, 
Let's go see Phil. Tinderbox Avenue, drive. All right, then. Let's do it. And then let's hang out with Dwayne. Thanks a lot. Right? Hang out with Dwayne. Go see a show. The Comedy Club. Right? I feel like that's great. That sounds perfect. Sounds like a perfect day. Ooh, hello, hello. Okay, this is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be interesting. I'm right here if you need anything. All right. Catch the wave. Hey, Tommy, check this out. Seven or seven race hey, show show. Sure. Wow. Hey, pal, what's going on? Hey, pal. Not much. How are you? I'm good. Wanna walk and talk? Sure. Sure. Tommy, give me a call if my big buddy calls. Tell him I went out to get some fresh air. No problem. Ridiculous. Oh. I'm a grown man walking around like a chump. I'm sorry about this. I thought hey, he was going to no spend problem. more time in there. <laughs> so you're a friend of Ray's? <laughs> a friend? No, oh, I do some work for him. No, I mean a friend. I don't understand. Whatever you say, he's a slime ball, but uh, he pays. <laughs> sure, pal, sure. Listen to me. The thing about Ray is, he's a good earner. Mm. He talks a lot of shit, but he's a good earner. Gavish. He's a rat Gavish. doing an impression of a man. Ooh. <laughs> That's pretty good. Phil! Phil! What? What? What do you want? <coughs> Mr. Boss, said you gotta head down to docks. Emergency. Said you'd understand. Ah, oh, shit. It's three days early. Madonna Mia, what am I gonna do? Madonna What's the Mia. problem? Nico. Mm. I'm gonna have to take a chance with you, pal. Mm. Okay? Come on, let's go. Okay. Okay, listen, there's a truck waiting for us. It's under the overpass off Catskill Avenue. Drive us there. Go to the truck. I love how everybody's just like quietly you talking about Ray. No, but we can be pretty sure it's clean. Chill out. All right, all right. It's just that if we get caught on this one, you and me is going down for a long time. And that means that certain people is going to assume we're rat, which means we'll get whacked. You're working with the wrong people if you expect them to whack you if you go inside. Where's the trust, Phil? It's about survival. If someone who knew what I knew got flipped, then the whole organization will go down. Whacking someone who catches some heavy time is just an insurance policy. And it don't help that not everyone in the organization is pulling in the same direction. You mean that someone in the family would see someone else going inside as an opportunity to get ahead? You're a smart guy. Anyways, excuse me if I want to be absolutely sure that we got our asses cut. You're excused. What are we doing? We're taking a load of product off of some Russians the enchiladas have been dealing with. You was helping those Irish idiots cause some beef between the enchiladas and their Albanian muscle a while back. Since that little love affair ended, they've been getting this Russian guy to supply them with sea. We just got the heads up that a shipment has arrived in Liberty City by boat. That's what the talk about the docks was. Exactly. We're taking the sea off the Russians so they can't deliver it to the Angelans. Sounds straightforward. We take the coke so that the Russians and the Angelans have a falling gal. Yes. And we make some money in the process by yes. selling the stuff. Easy. Yes. Shit. You sound like you're saying all this just so it's clear on the wiretap. For the record, I don't know what this man is talking about. We're rehearsing a scene for an act of clear. <laughs> I work in waste management. Everything we're saying is fiction. It has no bearing in the real world. Oh, uh, that's so Watch funny. It, that is hilarious. All right, this is the truck. Always thinking ahead, are we, Phil? We get it. Ah, Phil. Ah, okay. Drive to the boatyard on charge. Why well, we need this truck? It must be a shitload of coke we're taking. It should be a lot of sugar. But that ain't the only reason why we're taking this truck. Some of my boys stole it from the enchiladas this morning. It's the one the Russians are expecting to come pick up the sea. We should be able to turn up and have them loaded up for us. Then we drive away, no questions asked. I don't know if anyone would give away a load of coke without asking any questions. Even the Russian coke runners ain't that stupid. Mm. Yeah, sure, this is just plan A. 
It's the one Jimmy P worked out. You and me know it ain't gonna work. And that the only way we're gonna be able to leave that place with the sugar is if all the Russians in there are dead. So why don't we use a more subtle approach? Not just drive right into the middle of it. Because these is the orders and we gotta follow them. That's the way things work. You ain't gonna be happy about everything you get told to do, are you? You're the boss. It ain't like I'm working for free. No, you ain't. And I ain't neither. That's why we gotta at least try to do what we're told to do. You're gonna learn that there ain't much in this life that you got control of. Whether you're putting yourself in harm's way because that's the way the skipper wants it done, or you're staying away from your kids because of a stupid court order and a malicious bitch of an ex-wife. There ain't that much control in anything. I've been around long enough to know that there are some things that we don't have a choice about. But there's other times where you got to look at something and make a decision for yourself. I can't follow every order I'm given. Yeah, well, maybe you're right. Maybe you ain't. I don't know. This is it. Keep a cool head and everything should be fine. Okay. Catch the wave. Catch the wave, bro. The runners are using the boatyard to smuggle into the city. It is bought on speedboats from Vice City. But it hasn't been unloaded. Do ten lines of meth, okay. ten shots of vodka. You got to him. The boatyard is heavily guarded. The element of surprise will apparently be crucial. Well, they've spotted us, hey, I think, buddy. so... We're here to pick up the shipment. I don't speak English. Fuck off. Hey, amigo, let's make this easy. I just want to give the stuff to my boss and go home. I don't let anyone in here until I get the word. There's something wrong about you. Get out of the truck real slow. Nico, looks like we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Oh! Oh! Uh. Get through the boatyard with Belle. In the truck? Or can I get out? I can get out. Okay, that's nice. Hey man, no place. What do you mean, hey man? I'll show you, hey man. Go back. You're glad you messed with me. <laughs> the voice actor for Nico is so into it. It's great. Did I get him? Is he down? <gasps> ooh, ooh, ooh. I can barely see them. Oh my lord. Jesus Christ, guys. Is that a flammable barrel or no? Oh, that one was. I need some health. I'm in dire need of health. Okay, he's down. <gasps> don't you dare, don't you dare. I am so frustrated, you guys. I cannot believe that I've just died. Uh. After dying. We're here to pick up the shipment. I don't speak English. Fuck off. Countless hey, amigo, times. Let's make this easy. I just want to give the stuff to my boss and go home. I don't let anyone in here until I get the word. There's something wrong about you. I'm going to try something different. Real slow. Nico, looks like we're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. <laughs> you <laughs> okay. Okay. Bell. Friends, I need you to follow me. Follow me. Please follow me. He's gonna go through the middle. That's gonna annoy the crap out of me. 
But if he goes, if he goes through the front, I'll go through the back, and we'll try it like that. Because I have died so many times, it's annoying. It's very annoying at this point. working pretty well. Okay. Mm. There you are. There you are. There you are. There's so many of them. There's so... Many. Ooh. Okay, he's down. He's down. He's down. Is there someone else? Wow. Ah. Ah. We best get him out of here. I'll take the one on the right. You get the one on the left. Come on, move it, I'm moving. You don't have to tell me twice. Huh? Is that body armor? Oh, oh, that feels good to put on my body. Oh, ooh. okay. Jump. Get on. Nico, we don't have time for this. <laughs> Alright. Follow Bell to the drop off point. Please, let's all keep alive and, you know. God. Let's let's stay alive, Belle. Please, please, Phil. Please, my love. I need you alive. Okay. I cannot do this again. This is not so much like doing it, but it's just about having to drive hey, it hey, over hey, and over easy. again. We got more. <gasps> oh no! You are not going to ruin this for me. You are not going to ruin this for me. Absolutely not. I would rather die. Oh hey, Bill! That's got to be the last of them! The attackers have given up. Follow Bell to the drop-off point. Oh, oh, are you telling me we're safe now? Please tell me we're safe. Disembark on two. The jetty? The jetty? Okay. Oh, that's a bit awkward. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. That was not a slick way to get off, but we're here. So that will do. Alright. You handed yourself real good back there. Mm -hmm. Kept your head. That's a valuable trait. Thank you. See you later. It was more so persistence and dedication, if I'm being completely honest with you. It wasn't skill, it wasn't luck, it was just the ability to be able to repeat the mission and try again over and over again. Alright, I've changed my outfit, hoping to meet Kate for a date. Kate was asleep and told us to ring back at 8 o'clock in the morning. Fair enough, however, I don't feel like waiting. So, flatline, back at Jimmy's. Back at old Jimmy's you house. As well. Tell me it ain't you as well, hey, you hey, hey. fuck! What are you talking about? Speak, you bulking piece of shit! I'm done with you, done with everyone. I'll go, but I ain't going quiet! Mr. Pegorino, I don't know what you're talking about. I came as quickly as I could. Fucking Anthony! <sighs> what about Anthony? He was wearing a fucking wire! <sighs> that is a problem. My personal bodyguard wearing a wire! I raised that kid like he was my own. I beat him like he was my own son. When my son killed himself, Anthony became my son. Now this, the world is a 
Where is Anthony? Uh, I heard he's wearing a wire, so I freak out. I call him up. He's such a moron, he leaves his cell phone on, so we speak. After he's gone states, of course. I mean, Jesus, what a chump. <laughs> he freaks out on the phone, and I put the fear of God in him. I think maybe I've talked him out of it. Um. Then, he has a goddamn heart attack on the phone. I'm thinking problem solved. He's dying right in front of my ears. But the asshole lived, and now he's in the Leftwood Hospital under heavy guard. Okay, okay. Of course, he's got you on the fucking tape, too. Of course. So you'll do this for me. So you want me to talk to him? I want you to whack him. Right. And after that, I want you to kill all the other rats I surround myself okay. with. Talk to him? Okay. Sure. Don't worry. We could talk. We could talk. We could talk to his corpse, right? Go to the hospital. Go to the hospital. I thought he was a little laid back for a bodyguard, you know? I felt like he wasn't really taking his job seriously, and now we know why. <sighs> I don't know why he would turn on Mr. Mr. Jimmy over there, though. I mean, he, what an absolute saint of a man. You know, to have him raise you and be there for you and treat you how he does, so lovely, so nice. Yeah, next be banning drinking in the you know, uh, to turn on him, shocker. Absolutely shocking behavior. And I just, I can't understand it. I really can't. Do not enter the building with a weapon drawn. There may be cops inside. Silence Anthony. He's in the ER. Hey, nurse. How you doing there? Looking great in your uniform. Right. Outpatients, visitors, reception, treatment room, waiting room, wards, ER department, minor injuries unit, and chapel. Okay. Don't know what that was. Don't know what you're doing there. Nico. Just grabbing the crotch. Hey, speak to nurse. Any inquiries? Try the ER reception. Okay. Aha, ER reception. You're not like the other surgeons here. You don't have that, you know, God complex thingy. I guess it's my bedside manner. John, you're terrible. Anyone flat lines from here in, it's someone else's problem. Have a good night, Dr. Rosen. Oh. Oh, uh, oh. Hmm. Can I talk to you? Probably can't. It's not coming up as I can, so I'll just walk in here and pretend that I am an employee. I've seen so many green doctors, patients, and cadavers. I don't recognize anyone anymore. Well, don't worry about that. That's not for you to worry about, my love. Right, time to get to work. Cops act all nice when they get shot, but it's Mr. Tough Guy now that they're okay. down. Okay, I love witness. that we're sneaking in. I love that it's this whole elaborate thing where we're wearing uniforms and really pretending to be a part of the staff heads. It's cool. Is that bear on the floor? Are you kidding me? There's no way. Is that bear, guys? Jesus. There's a whole bunch of litter everywhere. There's stains on the floor. There's, dr I mean, look at that. It's like blood stains, like from bodies that have been dragged around. I just. Patients back there, Doc. Look after him. Will do. Yep. On the job. Okay. Can I have some time alone with my patient? I wanted to stretch my legs anyway. Mm. Us? Mm. Peg, is that you? I'm sorry. Shh, shh, shh. Son. Uh, shit, Nico. You here to see the boss? He's just this way. Uh, wait, isn't the boss in jail? Uh, what are you here for? Ah, uh, shit. I didn't have a choice. They were gonna put me away for some hard time. Uh, I never thought it'd be me that turned rat. Neither did I, Anthony. Neither did I. Oh. It looks like I messed something up. Sorry about that, Anthony. 
on my arm. Oh, bed. Bed. <laughs> Get out quickly and discreetly. The witness is down. I will Stop that doctor. Shh. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Quickly and discreetly. Oh, God. How is that going to be possible? He's literally right outside the door. They all were. Oh, you're not a... Sorry, I just shot you. Thought you was a part of it. Wasn't. I'm running. Go, Nico! Get in the car. <laughs> rogue doctor. Rogue doctor goes rogue. <laughs> okay. Get out quickly and discreetly. It's never going to be possible, was it? Goodness me. I mean, it was quite obvious what happened, right? He was fine before I went in. When I left, he was dead. I think it was kind of obvious regardless had I had tried to just casually walk out of the room, you know? Either way, it was gonna be, it was gonna be a, hmm, hmm, maybe it could have been the doctor that came in and told me to leave all of a sudden. I did kind of feel bad for him. I did. He didn't seem like a bad person. He didn't seem like a bad kid, you know? <laughs> I, I believed him when he was like, uh, they kind of already had me, so I really had no choice. So. I don't think you will be seeing Anthony on the witness stand. I better not be seeing you up there either. Or anybody else I know for that matter. Fucking bitch. Turning everybody into rats. See you around, Nico. See you around. Let's call Roman. Nico, my cousin, give me some tales of the Liberty City underworld. I'm curious. Maybe if you give me tales of a womanizing gambling addict. That's <laughs> a low blow and be. Seriously, what are you up to at the moment? I've been working for Jimmy Pegorino, the head of that Alderney Guido family. Yeah, the head of the family. Is he a big time gangster like in the movies then? Wants to be. Keeps talking about being powerful. About getting on the commission with the five big families. I just hope he's got enough power to be able to find Darko Brevich for me. I hope you'll be able to relax when you do finally find him, Nico. Speak soon. Mm-hmm. Well, I am going to pause it here for today, you guys. And the very first thing that we do when we come back is go on a date with Kate. Thank you so much for watching this part of GTA 4. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then you know what to do. But otherwise, I will see you guys in my next video.